You'll be doing things you don't like doing in order to go on living, that is to go on doing things you don't like doing, which is stupid. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Still pretty tired That coffee, I need another one I've just made myself a cup of tea I don't know why, I've just been like avoiding coffee For the last week or two So, I'm on the tea we're just about to go for a walk, get some steps in, it's Monday, feeling semi-revitalised, but what is that piece of hair doing? I am feeling like pumped for this week, I'm feeling motivated, I'm feeling like we're going to go in with a fresh mindset. did my six minute di diary, as you will have seen this morning, haven't done that in such a long time and I feel like that is part of my part of my routine that makes me feel good so I don't know why I just stopped doing it just before Christmas um so we're back on that we're gonna make sure our routines are better do you need something okay and we're gonna smash it we're gonna go into the week with a great mindset when we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun Excuse the spot on my head, excuse what I look like <laughs> I am just doing some check-ins and all the girls that I've done so far are doing so well they are absolutely smashing the workouts and their progress already is just amazing She's got a little delivery of my brekkie from Liam, um, we've got porridge, oat milk, blueberries, chia seeds, banana, chocolate sauce, which is the sweet freedom. If you don't know about the sweet freedom chocolate sauce, then get to know because I think it's like 13 calories per spoonful of it. So it's a really good way of making your porridge just extra tasty. I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna get back to work. The walk was a little bit of a fail um, because we ended up going to the place we normally go for a walk and it was literally so icy. It was like skating on an ice rink, that's how bad it was and we were like, we're just going to end up in hospital if we carry on with this. So then we ended up going for another walk um, around like the shops and stuff and we were just like, let's just go back, we've got too much work to do, let's just go. Oh. We know what we have, let's hold on tight. Wow. I have been the worst vlogger today. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to extend the vlog because it's probably been so boring for you. I'm really sorry. I'm just making my late lunch because I've been so busy doing um, check-ins with all my fabulous girlies. I'm just making a cheese and onion gluten-free pita bread with some salad. Um, because I could make like rice and veggies and stuff but I honestly just feel like I need something super quick super quick and obviously the salads are going to give me some nutrients definitely feel like I'm going to be low on my protein today so I need to have a protein shake with my lunch this is the cheese I'm using and this is a pita pockets Amazing. Just made Liam a protein juice. I'm so excited to eat. I'm so hungry. There you go. So hungry. And I also have forgot to do my progress pictures today as well. They need doing, but I might just have to leave them until tomorrow. Okay, so I'm gonna use these little pockets that you can pop your sandwich in and put them in the toaster. And they make toasties. I feel like these are the best inventions. And then they just stick. Stick in the toaster. Clever, huh? Oh, probably just got onion in my eye. <laughs> um, yeah, because 
in the past I've had, you know, those toasty makers. I do not think they just get really messy. Like, they're the best things ever to make, like, cheese and beans toasties. But these are just really easy to clean, way more easier to clean than the actual toasty makers. And then um, once it's, like, melted a bit, I'm going to add the salad into the pocket and then eat. And that is my lunch. Not very high in protein, so I'm going to have a protein shake as well. <sighs> Fully aware that this video was just basically turned into what I eat in the day. <laughs> Um, but I'm actually gonna go train in a minute, so you can come along and train with me. Protein shake I've just had. Put this in it. Eight grams of whole, whole earth peanut butter. And I used the, I didn't use that. What did I use? The My Vegan Chocolate Smooth. And, by the way, this is our protein cupboard. <laughs> It's full. <laughs> full of my vegan. So if anyone thinks I'm an ambassador and I don't use the products, I literally have a whole cupboard full. Um, not that one, that one's Liam's. Where is it? This one. And I'm really running low on this. This is my favourite one. It's the vegan recovery blend, banana and cinnamon. And it's my favourite because it's, it's a lot higher in calorie. Um focus it's a lot higher in calorie than the other protein shakes um and for days like the t today i've been really busy so i've not had that many calories and i've upped my calories the last two weeks and i'm really struggling to hit them so you girls that have put on higher calorie plans I, I feel you, because it's a bit of a struggle, especially when you're busy. Um, that's why shakes like this, this is, I think it's 250 calories for the shake, because it's higher carb and higher protein content. Um, particularly good for after you've trained, but I just like to add these in to when I'm really struggling to get calories. And it's so good if you add this. Just adds a little bit of a another dimension to it i swear but i really need to pick up another recovery blend because i've basically used it all up right nearly forgot you yeah. i forgot that i was filming my workout today let's go I don't think I filmed anything um, after my workout last night because it was so late. This morning I had a bit of a late start because I had a cracking headache. I don't even think I've rubbed on my makeup in. Let me just... <laughs> okay, let's just fix my makeup. I haven't worn makeup in. Actually, did I wear makeup yesterday? I feel like I've not been wearing makeup much these days. I mean, who really is in lockdown? Um, I'm gonna go for a walk to get some exercise in today. I'm just about to leave now. But yeah, I didn't film anything after my workout yesterday because it was like getting pretty late. I think I'm gonna continue the vlog on today because I, I wanna chat to you about upping calories because um, I keep on getting messages uh, through my TikTok and obviously the girls that I'm currently coaching on the group program and even on my one-to-one -one clients, I feel like I get I get a lot of messages about being really concerned with upping their calories. So I want to do a bit of a sit, sit down segment in this vlog, chatting to you about eating more and why I think um, that we've basically been taught the way we've been taught 
um, to, to eat a lot less when we are losing weight. But I'll speak to you more about that when I get back from our walk. I've also got a lot of studying to do because I'm doing another qualification, um, which is really exciting. I'm doing my prenatal and antenatal qualification, so then I'll be able to coach uh, pregnant women and ladies who have just... Um, had babies which is super exciting because it's something that I've always wanted since since wanting to become a PT I've always wanted to help pregnant ladies um, yeah so that's really exciting I can't wait to do that and there's also in, in the course it's not just pre and postnatal it also touches upon like women's health and stuff like that and osteoporosis um, so that should also be very, very beneficial, considering I am a women's personal trainer. I had a, the biggest headache this morning. I think it's hormonal, to be honest, because the dreaded, the dreaded pee is coming up. And she's about to pounce, but I could just feel it. And so I get a bit headachey when I'm hormonal. So I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's just that. I had, I didn't film it this morning. Um, to be honest, it was a, a mess. So I'm glad I didn't film it, but I had the gluten-free pita breads again from Be Free. I mean, these these muffins are not very good, so don't recommend those. But I do re recommend the pita pockets, and I had some avocado with it and some red onion. I love red onion on like pitas and sandwiches, and I really just need to get more creative with my lunch and dinner um, today. Because it's not really creative having a pita bread and avocado, was it really? I need to just get my rice and veggies game up. So we're going to plan something nice and go and listen to a podcast and ring my mum as well on the walk. I don't want to stay here no, ain't going to keep it low now. If you want to go, let's go, let's wrap it up and it the I am back from my walk. I'm just watching James and Karis, standard, one of their pregnancy mukbangs, while I make some dinner. Um, so, ignore the mess of my kitchen because it is a state. But we've got some carrots in here. We've got 500 grams of potatoes and they have got fry light on along with garlic powder. Uh, put some oregano on the carrots and then I've got this spicy little beast uh, sriracha I'm gonna bake them in the oven about 45 minutes and then I've not decided what we're gonna have as the main but I definitely just need a lot of veggies I'm feeling like I'm craving some veggies okay so I think we've decided on having this with it I think this has got still got wheat in yeah, it's got wheat in. So basically, I haven't posted the video yet, but I've got a video coming soon um, on like a food intolerance test that I did. And basically one of the intolerances that came up was wheat and gluten, which I kind of already knew anyway, because, because of my endometriosis, I've been like very in touch with what, what foods give me inflammation and I know I shouldn't really be having those because they've got wheat in but I've found already by just cutting out like bread um, and really really reducing it it's definitely really helped already so eventually what I do need to do is just cut it out totally but I feel like reducing it at the moment for me is helping massively right so this is dinner I know <laughs> the veg don't judge me right i started doing work on the sofa and forgot that the veg was in so it's a little bit overcooked um but we've got roast potatoes roasted carrots roasted broccoli and we've got the southern fried uh tofu bites as well i'm gonna add some gravy onto this as well yeah let's go and eat hello so i just want to kind of talk about calorie consumption basically you have your bmr which is your basal metabolic rate and this is literally just your basic body bodily functions like breathing how your organs run etc etc and then 
above your basal metabolic rate it kind of like the calories creep up to a deficit a calorie deficit and maintenance calories and then a calorie surplus now how we work out your calorie deficit is to take away a certain amount of calories from your maintenance calories which are if you're at your maintenance calories you're maintaining you're maintaining the same physique um well it goes kind of a little bit more um, complicated than just that because obviously if you're in a maintenance and you're training intensively with weights then you are going to be building muscle as well but just a lot more slow, slowly than if you were in a calorie surplus. Now the idea is to basically put you in a calorie deficit now i'm talking i'm kind of talking to the people that i'm coaching and the people that are interested in weight loss and building muscle um if this is not you then maybe just skip this bit because it might not be relevant the idea is that you would lose weight until you are at, until you are at a healthy weight um you've reduced your body fat percentage um to a certain amount this is all with training with weights and and a little bit of cardio as well depending on your plan and then eventually when you get to a certain weight because believe it or not you don't have to be in a calorie deficit for the rest of your life like that is just that is just not it's not what we want at all um so when you once you get to a certain point then we want to start building your calories up slowly and gradually building them back up to maintenance and beyond depending on your fitness goals if you want to grow some glutes you're gonna have to eat more you're gonna have to fuel that body more and train the glutes two to three times a week to build the glutes up and um, this is something that i think a lot of girls struggle with um, a lot of girls struggle with the idea of upping the calories because they just i think it's quite easy to connect eating more with just putting on fat but if you are on a specific plan a specific calorie goal specific protein goal and you are training consistently you will be building muscle you will be building those glutes if you're training glutes a lot um and the weight is going to be dis distributed more evenly if you do that rather than if you just cut out exercise and you just eat whatever you want and you eating 1000 1500 calories extra on top of your maintenance calories every day then what's going to happen you're going to put on fat if you're training optimally and you're eating a lot of protein enough protein to be able to build muscle then you're not going to get fat that's 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 not going to happen honey so i think that's that's something that kind of it kind of like worries a lot of girls um and i i think it's i think it is just because of diet culture and like how we've been kind of brought up to get to achieve my goal i need to eat less and less when that's not that's definitely not it's definitely not always the case it's it's specific to you individual to you individual to your specific goals as well um but i just kind of wanted to touch upon that because i've been getting quite a lot of messages from girls who are concerned that they're eating um that their calorie deficit is too much too high and i i definitely think that's just because of the misinformation that's out there uh, the miseducation that's out there um yeah and and i also think there's a lot of pts out there putting putting people on very very minimal calories just to get a fast result so they can post about it and say look at me look at my clients look how amazing they look when in reality the best thing that you can do is sustainably and gradually get the get the results over a, a good three month period and you can believe me you can change your change your body a lot in three months you can you can be well on your way to your goal in three months like 12 weeks is a, a good amount of time if you're training optimally and you're doing everything kind of by the book and stuff then you can get there you definitely can get there you can get the results that you want not once when i've been eating on a calorie deficit that i've created for myself have i felt really hungry and like i need 
need to eat more and I have been getting consistent results and another thing is is to try not to focus too much on weight like the number on the scales I think because of like Weight Watchers and Slimming World and and these kind of like clubs these these weight weight loss clubs um the focus is very much on weight and I'm not I'm not kind of like shitting on people that have found that that is good because everyone's an individual and we all we are all kind of like on this journey and whether you're at the beginning the middle at the yet or the end you might that might be part of your journey kind of thing um so I don't want you to take that the wrong way but I do think it can be quite dangerous just really getting fixated on weighing yourself and weighing yourself like more than once a week as well like there's no point weighing yourself every day there really isn't because we especially as women fluctuate so much during our cycle uh, another thing is is body composition as well like um i posted on instagram a few days ago about um a transformation and basically it was how i'd gained weight and i'd gone from 72 kilograms to 76 i think it was so i was four kilograms higher than the previous one but if you look at the second image I am a lot more um I'm a lot more leaner looking and that is down to muscle mass it's down to building muscle mass and muscle is more dense than fat so the scales will reflect that you will be heavier and so I think it's important to get that in your head now at the start of your journey or wherever you are in the journey um to make sure that you're not kind of like thinking that the scales are a be be all and end all because if you're doing weights if you are lifting weights you will be building muscle and even if you are in just below maintenance you can build muscle it's a lot harder and it's a lot slower but as long as you're eating enough protein there will be muscle growth and muscle definition so yeah i don't want people to get so fixated on the scales and also it's just not good for the mind it's not good for the mind to get fixated on sizes like sizes that we wear or fixated on scales because it can start a dangerous way of thinking about ourselves and you're not defined by how much you weigh that doesn't define you you're defined by your personality you're defined by your love your self-love your caring nature that is what you're defined by not that number on the scales no one gives a shit about the number on the scales they don't make friends with you because of the number on the scales we just need to remember this we need to remember the reasons why our family love us is not because of how much we weigh that is totally irrelevant um, yeah, I hope, hope this was, it's a bit of a rant I just went on, I'm sorry, but I just felt like I needed to kind of just open up and, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I will be filming another vlog this week and I'll also be filming like a food related one. I might do one on protein shakes. Yeah, I might do one on protein shakes just to give you some ideas of what I do to my protein shakes to make them extra chef's kiss and i will see you thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye